Thank you, President Carter. I thank President Carter for giving this um, issue the national attention that it deserves. Racism is playing and has been playing a role in the opposition to President Obama's um, leadership as President of the United States of America. Um, I believe that when the um, health care rallies, um, it became evident based on the um, rhetoric and the signs that many of the protesters carried, including signs um, showing our president as a, a monkey and um, also that during the time that um, emails were circulated on the internet, um, one even from a congressperson's office, from a staff person who said that her only explanation for sending out the racist email was that the emails went out to the wrong group of people on her email in her, from her, in her address book. And she was not punished, she's still employed. So to say that racism is not a factor is ignoring the um, evidence that shows otherwise. So um, I say to those people who uh, um, uh, oppose President Obama based on his policies, you have every right to do that based on our Constitution. This is a democracy, and this is the greatest democracy on earth. You have a right to peaceful assembly, but what you don't have a right to is to try to um, cause strife and um, discourse in this country that could lead to racial and physical violence in this country. So I applaud President o, um, Carter for um, making us aware, um, of those who weren't aware of the fact that this president's legitimacy is being challenged based by some um, because of his race. He is the duly elected president of the United States of America. 62 million of us voted for him in November of 2008. And 2012, those 52 million people who voted for McCain and Palin, and those who didn't vote at all, you would have your opportunity to go to the polls and to vote for who you want to lead this country. But in the meantime, regardless of his color, President Obama is the President of the United States of America. The, our issues are too great, the world issues are too great for us to falter at this time in our nation's history. For eight years, the world needed a strong, intelligent leader. Um, president Bush, was, as President of the United States, was the leader of the free world. We, I hope that we can all agree that he didn't do a very good job in that role. Now we have a president who the world has been waiting for, the world embraces, and his own country says that he's not, um, he's not an American, that he, that he um, wasn't born here, that um, he shouldn't be the, the president. So how does that make us look to the rest of the world and to the Republican parties who have nothing to lose their um, approval rating at the end of the election, if I'm not mistaken, was in the 15 percentile, in the teens. So they don't have anything to lose. So they're going for broke. They don't care. Um, and their state it goes by one of their um, Congress, uh, I don't know, I think it was Senator DeMint, was that he wants to break President Obama on health care reform. And if he does, that would um, break his presidency that that will um, destroy him. And I may not be quoting him correctly, but in, in essence, that's what he meant. So I say to those people, um, this is not, uh, put your country first. John McCain said it during his campaign, that he was going to be bipartisan, and he hasn't shown one ounce of, of that ability. He has voted down party lines for everything, including voting against Soto Mayor as the um, the justice, the um, social justice to the Supreme Court of the United States of America, a position that he has never taken in all of his years in the Senate. So, if when you see all of these things, and there's no explanation for them, then racism, more likely than not, according to some Supreme Court ruling, is the explanation. So I say to America and to Americans, we're better than this. If this country explodes into a racial riots 
a racial um, violence, no one wins. We all lose. So let's wait until 2012. You get a chance to vote again. And if President Obama did not um, meet the expectations, your expectations, or did not live up to his promises that he made during the election, vote him out. But until then, let's calm this down. Let's, let's you know, we, we survived um, the, the 400 years of slavery. We survived the, the um, Jim Crow laws. We survived the um, Civil Rights Movement. So we can survive this. We can survive four years of President Obama as president. Those of us who oppose Bush, we survived eight years with Bush as president. This too shall pass for those of you who don't like it at this time in our nation's history. Thank you very much.